The plan to push school districts to reopen was meant to be simple. Have kids in the lower grades back in the classroom and fully reopen one entire middle or high school grade by May 15th. Assembly Bill 86 offered $2 billion as an incentive. Except that in a letter to the state controller, the three lawmakers that signed it argued that San Francisco Unified never met that criteria. Instead, the school district offered graduating seniors the option to come back for only a few days a week. The school district only reopened eight high schools and waited until the day before the deadline to bring the seniors back. Today at Lowell High School, they were rehearsing for graduation. And like so many other parents, there's nothing more important to me than having our kids uh, back in school, especially when San Francisco has some of the highest vaccination rates across the entire state and country and, and some of the lowest COVID rates in our state. So, Assemblyman again, Ting says San Francisco say Unified that. should not be entitled to the 12 million it was supposed to receive. And late today, ABC 7 News has confirmed that the state superintendent of public instruction, Tony Thurmond, has asked SFUSD to prove that it did in fact comply with AB 86. The district says it's working on it. The superintendent issued a statement saying at each successive stage, it was not entirely clear if we had the staffing to get to the next stage. The school board Remote president, Gabriela Lopez, said denying these funds is an unfortunate misstep by state reasons. legislators. The school board instead is now working on a reopening plan after passing a resolution promising to offer in-person instruction for all grade levels when school returns in the fall. In San Francisco, Leanne Melendez, ABC 7 News.